Uh, in India, we work with our partners at Imperial College London, and our work is really all about uh, strengthening evidence-informed decision-making. So part of this focuses on health technology assessment and building capacity and awareness about the need for health technology assessment. Part of it is broader health system strengthening focused. So in the beginning of the year, uh, in early February, the Minister of Health from Chhattisgarh State in India reached out to us. Chhattisgarh State have just had a change in government and they're going to be in for fi a five year term. So the minister reached out to the Ministry of Health in Thailand and said that he wanted to learn about the Thai experience of UHC. They're very keen in a promoting universal health care and they wanted to learn more about how this was done in Thailand. So we tried to uh, have the delegates meet with as many people as possible that they could speak to about this topic. And so we worked with our partner organisations, IHPP and NHSO, to try and arrange this. On the first day there was a dinner, so they had dinner with senior Thai experts including Dr. Somsak and Dr. Swit, and they had very lively discussion about um, all challenges related to UHC. And then the next day they spent the morning at NHSO. And they heard from NHSO in more detail about the role of NHSO in managing the universal coverage scheme and the challenges that they faced in establishing that. They had a tour of the call centre at NHSO to learn about the grievance redressal mechanisms. And then in the afternoon they came to High Tap and they learnt more about the background of universal healthcare in Thailand and also more about HTA specifically and the work of High Tap in supporting universal care. concern more on the equity consideration, budget impact assessment, and finally now we concern on this study because some uh, activity cannot be done 